So now that we have recorded a video, we need to compress it, we need to edit it, and we need to put it online. Here's how you do it in, with Camtasia Studio. Open up Camtasia Studio, import media, grab the video that you have recorded, put it on the timeline, and then um, hit produce and share, and um, go through some options and uh, save it here and then just press finish and you're done so that's all you do uh, so that's the quick way so what just happened there basically when you record a video it's um, it is uh, a very large file when you run it through uh, Camtasia Studio it'll take that um, file of say you know 10 megabytes per minute and compress it down to 2 megabytes per minute therefore your students can stream it easily on, um, on a regular internet connection and even a poor internet connection they should be able to stream it easily okay so that's it now I've skipped over a whole bunch of things you can do with Camtasia Studio you can also edit it so you can improve the audio by uh, fixing um, uh, noise removal um, level the volume, uh, put the volume up or down if needed. Um, you can do uh, zoom in at parts of the video. You can do fun transitions from one part to another. You can do uh, all sorts of things. Type in text into the video, um, voice narration, captions, put in a, a, a quiz into the video, all sorts of, of uh, tools and tricks. Um, but but basically the part that I showed you is is all you need most of the time which is just stick the video here and hit produce and share and and just hit finish right and and, and so then the video gets compressed from you know whatever 20 megabytes per minute down to 2 megabytes per minute um, and uh, the most important thing is to make sure that your recording dimensions are good so that it shows up well. Um, at the, I use YouTube at the moment so I always have the recording dimensions as, 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 as large as possible and let the user then uh, make the video um, lower quality for higher streaming if that's what they want they can do that on YouTube itself. Okay.